Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson 1. In this brief lesson, I will show you the user interface and most important elements in All Plan. All Plan starts with the so called welcome dialog, which you see here in the middle of the screen. In addition to the most important functions for project management, this useful window also offers access to recently opened projects. Further down, you'll find useful tips and explanations about new functions and the direct connection to the Allplan communication platforms Allplan Connect, Allplan Exchange and Allplan BIM Plus. You will also find your exact Allplan version and your customers and workplace number here in the welcome dialog. Since we now want to work with the Allplan user interface, let's close the welcome dialog. A little tip you can always access the welcome dialog here. There are basically two ways to access the functions in All Plan, both of which are important. The action bar and the context menu that you can access at any element that is already drawn. In the quick start lessons, I will show you how to do this both ways. In the All Plan user interface, you will first notice the action bar at the top border. The All Plan functions are centrally and clearly available to you in the action bar. It is intuitive and very easy to operate the action bar. Select a role from the left side, and All Plan will then show you the functions corresponding to the role. Within a role, the functions are broken down into tasks tabs on top and below the task areas. Cross-role and cross-task areas are highlighted in grey and always remain no matter which role you choose. In contrast to this, depending on the role, alternating task areas are highlighted in blue. You can individually determine the position of the permanent and alternating task areas, that is, whether the arrangement is to be on the right or left. To do this, open the dialog, adjust the user interface. Here you can decide whether the set task areas is to be arranged on the right or left. I will choose left and then leave the dialog by clicking close. Double clicking the left mouse key on the subtitle of an area will expand or collapse it. You can see this here using the example of the task area for quick access. If I also hold the control button, that is, pressed control button and double click on the subtitle, all task areas will open or close in one step. All plan will remember the settings you made until the next change. Of course, you have the opportunity to compile, save or also share an action bar according to your own needs and wishes. To do this, start the action bar configurator and create a new action bar from the ground up or choose one of the supplied templates and adapt this to your needs. Another important part of the Allplan user interface is made up by the so-called palettes. You can see these on the left side. It starts on the left with the Properties palette, and then comes the Wizards palette, and so on. What role do these palettes play in Allplan? The Properties palette, for example, can show you the properties of elements that you have highlighted, and allows you to simultaneously change certain properties for one or more elements. In this way, for example, you can quickly change the font of several highlighted texts simultaneously. The other palettes also offer powerful and easy to operate functions that you should try out. One practical tip here. To be able to save space on the screen here, you can also hide the palettes here. You will then still be able to see them on the left edge of the screen, but it's now in the space-saving form of a bar. As soon as you move the mouse over this bar, 
the pallets automatically appear and disappear again when you leave the bar again with the mouse. You can also permanently pin the pallets again at the same point. Firstly, I decide to leave the pallets expanded. Finally, a note about the all plan title bar. Here you will find functions for file management, such as saving, importing and exporting, but also the back and repeat function, the convenient all plan window control, and the all plan options. On the right side are the all plan help, a shortcut table, and some other useful functions. After this brief overview of the Allplan user interface, in the next lesson we will cover the Allplan building structure in which you very easily and intuitively manage your building model and the derived objects such as views, sections and reports.